What's going on guys? It is night one of Texas 2K. We're hitting a car meet at midnight performance and then we're gonna do some roll racing. The ambient lighting in here at nighttime is actually too sick. All right, we just pulled up to the meet. It's already wrapped with cops, but look at the Supra. That Dodge Demon on skinnies from earlier. Oh, the Chupra. Damn, this guy's getting his car towed. That's brutal. Damn, that's a police airplane up in the sky scouting people's speeds. Oh my God, what the hell is happening right now? Well, that's the most cops I've ever seen in my life. This is actually insane. We don't know what's happening. Holy crap. All right, we just found a pack of like 30 cars all going to roll raise at the same time. <laughs> this is absurd. Oh my God, nice ZR1. Damn, listen to that. The sounds all these things are making, my God. It's actually wild seeing all these thousand plus horsepower cars casually moving at the same time to go race each other. And bye-bye. <laughs> oh my God. Mustang down. Well, I legitimately don't know how much actual racing is going to be going on because there are so many cops out tonight. It's insane. And then this red dot right there, I don't know if you can see it, but that little dot right there is a police airplane circling around, letting them know that uh, there are a ton of cars meeting up in this lot, all about to race each other. Listen to the whistle on that. Clean ZR1. Beautiful Supra. And then look at this guy's license plate. That's amazing. This guy's running a plaid tonight on what looks like 18 inch wheels. Pretty cool. Someone brought their X5M and a Trackhawk as well. Oh my God. Look at this ZR1. <laughs> this is actually friggin' insane. Oh, oh my God. That is wild. That Supra is crazy fast. I think it's running against the 720S. We have a torch here. We got a torch. All these cars right here that are lining up in this area are about to race against each other. 412's E30. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, those turbos. Listen to this turbo. Oh! Own daddy is his license plate. That's incredible. Oh my god. versus twin turbo 370. There we go. Oh my God. Oh, E30 took it. Okay, I don't know if this is serious or not, but a cop just drove by. He's in our lineup of cars right now and he was blasting music over his speakers. And somebody from this group said that the cop is with us and doesn't care what's going on. But yeah, he's literally going the other direction. What a chill cop. <laughs> versus Corvette, let's go. I got it. Oh, here's the I jump guy. Oh, please run it. A little SS versus Hellcat action.
guys, it is day two of Texas 2K, but unfortunately our current weather situation, it is dumping rain, which isn't exactly ideal for 3,000 horsepower cars on the track. All right, we've been stuck at this train crossing for like 10 minutes now with no idea how long this train is. That GTR is crazy. The spec on this Huracan is so clean. I love the blue in those two-tone wheels. All right, a theme of Texas 2K has been these incredible license plates. Look at this plate frame too. Check this out, Midnight Purple R34. That is clean. This rear diffuser is too. Got that little aero piece right here on the side. That's crazy. This GTR is absolutely slammed. You couldn't even fit a finger under the rear quarter panel right there. This guy's trying to use a leaf blower to dry the track in the rain. I, I don't think that's gonna work. So yesterday at the track, we were checking out T1 Races GTR over there, but they just set a new world record with this car. So this GTR just competed in a roll race event and ran 237 miles an hour in the quarter mile, setting the new world record for fastest pass at Texas 2K. This thing is absolutely insane. It was faster than the 3,500 wheel horsepower Huracan STO by UGR. So I imagine the twin turbo Huracan and uh, Nissan GTR guys are about to go crazy against each other since those are kind of the two craziest platforms at these types of events. Look at that carbon fiber, body panels, crazy side exit exhaust. Look at that, those turbos in the front. That just looks so menacing. I mean, to think that this is capable of going not 237 miles an hour with unlimited runway in just a quarter mile is absolutely ridiculous. So props to these guys, congratulations on your new record. Man, this is so cool. What's crazy is this isn't even on full slicks. Look at that, it's actually got some grooves in the tire. That's honestly even more impressive. Look, the rest of their cars are on full slicks. I imagine some of these though are drag builds versus this is for a roll. I'm in love with the drag pack style wing on the back of this GTR. I love how it's just perfectly level with the trunk missing that rear bumper. I mean, this thing just looks absolutely menacing. Check this out. These guys are working on the twin turbocharged R8. Just look at the size of the turbos in there. That is insane. Damn, that sounds mean. Oh, the smell of E85. And then look at this lifted Polaris. That is crazy. Wow, the turbo whistle on this Evo. Firing up this twin turbocharged Huracan. Look at those beadlock wheels. It smells like race fuel. And then I gotta say, one of my favorite spec Huracans I've seen at the event. Look at this. I don't know if it's Viola Parsifay or what color it is, but man, does that look epic. I think the silver wheels look really good instead of having black ones. Titanium bolts too. This R8 up on the second story of this truck. That is so cool. All right, I'm hoping some of these guys are gonna start racing. It's been raining all day, so I kind of doubt it. I guess we'll see. Check out this Calvo Viper, 1800 wheel horsepower built motor. It's for sale for 295K. This thing is badass. And then look at all of the other Vipers around it. Literally surrounded. The modes of transportation here are honestly iconic. Look at these two guys. More on the epic plate game. This thing says rented, twin turbocharged R8. That is epic. Absolutely stunning purple Aventador SVJ. Now we're hoping maybe, not like an SVJ Roadster isn't one of the coolest cars ever on its own right, but the Dallas Performance sticker, we were thinking maybe it was twin turbocharged. Unfortunately, not the case, but one hell of a cool spec. Look how many Corvettes there are in a row. This has to be the most amount of Corvettes I've ever seen in one spot. And probably all of them are heavily modified. This is actually really cool, seeing all of these in a row. So many C7s. Wow. Then all the C6s. They're trying to dry the track right now with this truck pulling basically an enormous blow dryer. I hope it works. R34 doing some laps. So 
so cool. Well guys, unfortunately the weather has not been in our favor and it looks like they're not gonna do any more racing for the rest of the day. But the good news is there are still three more days of drag racing, so we'll get some good content for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.